From the 1850s and the first Chinese temples in San Francisco, Buddhism has been part of the American religious landscape. Today there are well over a thousand Buddhist temples and meditation centers. Some are relatively invisible, like the Korean Buddhist temple in a huge old Masonic hall in downtown L.A. Some bring new life to more traditional structures, like the Korean temple in Philadelphia. In Rockford, Illinois, the Laotian Buddhist community gathers in an old farmhouse. In the last few decades, Chinese immigrants have built magnificent new temples in San Jose and against a backdrop of Douglas fir in Seattle and amidst the vast strip malls of Houston. The Chuangyan Monastery nestles in the leafy country north of New York City and the huge temple and monastery complex of Shi Lai sits in Hacienda Heights, California. The oldest Japanese Buddhist temples are in Hawaii and for over a hundred years there have been Japanese temples on the mainland as well. In the 1930s, a gift of the Buddha's relics was presented to the Japanese Buddhist church in San Francisco, where they are honored in a rooftop shrine. Vietnamese Buddhists have settled all over America, with temples in suburban Denver, for example, or in Salt Lake City. The temple is also the home of one or more monks. Many begin in suburban homes, where the living room becomes the Buddha Hall. Once they are on their feet, the Vietnamese, like other communities, are building. America's Cambodian communities have temples in the farmland outside Minneapolis or in Silver Spring, Maryland. Buddhists from Thailand worship in Chicago and in North Hollywood, where Wat Thai, just beyond the gas station, draws huge crowds for Buddhist festivals. Beyond all this, there are hundreds of Buddhist meditation centers, attracting Americans of all races and backgrounds. A Tibetan learning center in New Jersey, a Tibetan meditation center in Vermont. A Korean Zen center has been built in Cumberland, Rhode Island. Today there are more kinds of Buddhists in America than anywhere else on earth. And in American cities, Buddhists from all over Asia encounter one another and follow the path of the Buddha together.